New York's Long Island is usually defined by its extremes. To the west, Brooklyn and Queens cling to New York City, while off east are the fancy beach communities. But the 76 second travel show is interested about what's lost in the middle. So we held a road trip contest to investigate, using the only known guidebook to the region, the songs of Billy Joel. Billy Joel frequently sings of Long Island, and Long Islanders have a lot to say about him. My first job was underground lawn sprinklers. I put the sprinklers in Billy Joel's house. Billy Joel wrote one of the songs for the organ that we have here. His, his hand therapist was the same as my elbow therapist. It's kind of like if you grew up on Long Island, whether you like it or not, you're going to be connected to Billy Joel till the day you die somehow. Question. Should we use songs as guidebooks more often? What's the matter with Billy Joel travel? Do you think that we're just unhip? Bet it looks forced from the resorts packed in on Cancun's hotel strip. <laughs> this is Billy Joel's street. He and his mom were living there and his sister. And uh, I used to hear him practicing a lot on the piano. His mother came over to me one time. My son is going to be bigger than the Beatles one day. And it was like, yeah, right, Roz. Come on, Virginia, don't let me wait. Your holy trinity girls stop much too late. But sooner or later, it comes down to fate. I might as well be the one. This looks like every single Long Island high school. They have the same color, the same old windows. Except Billy Joel went here, so this is like their claim to fame. We were surprised to find Billy Joel's high school completely open. But we couldn't find any mention of Billy anywhere. It seems like the person that's most well known is not Daniel J. Kristoff, but Billy Joel. This case is full of honors and awards for musicians. I think it should be named the Billy Joel music case. Instruments in there? Look at this. It's whipped in. Nice. Why are we allowed to go in here? <laughs> so William, William Martin Joel learned how to play music in this room. I can't believe there's nothing here for Billy Joel. Nothing. I'm looking around and I don't see anything. Hey, look, there's the Hall of Fame. Where? Oh, That's there cool. it is. Do you see him? Oh, there he is, just below Madeline Miller. Bob Hess suggested we go to the Village Green, where Brenda and Eddie hang out in scenes from an Italian restaurant, and look for Johnny A at a bar where Billy used to hang out. When he says John at the bar is a friend of mine, because a good one of Bobby Hess's best friends, his name is John DeBow. Johnny A is renovating the shop, an old bar Billy used to drink at. What do you think that Billy Joel did when he came? I'm sorry. Uh, when he came, he, he got drunk, probably. <laughs> <laughs> As you well know from uh, from different uh, newspaper ads and all, that was one. Of, that's one of the things he does very well. Makes up a question. Do you know where any of his accidents occurred? Uh, I don't know exactly where his accidents occurred, uh, but I know they were numerous. And even though it's not really Billy Joel's piano. But as a goof, I'm going to put a picture on it and put Billy's first piano on it. As, so I just hope Billy doesn't sue me for that. <laughs> Believe me, this bar has seen many, many characters. I myself am one of them. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Next, we went to an old carousel Billy rode as a kid. He's actually sponsored the um, one of the horses here. He has a horse named Penny. So damn easy. Why do we always go to the beach? 
But we had one last stop to make. I'm the red. Every customer that comes in, they go running right over to the wall. We have pictures of Billy Joel. We dedicated that big poster to him. They ask me all the time, does he come in? Oh, what night's he coming? You know, if he's coming, you gotta call me. They leave phone numbers. That's you know, great. Ultimately, this trip wasn't about Billy Joel, but the marks left on Long Island by his songs. If you go to Syosset or Manhasset, Oyster Bay or Hicksville, you can see them there clearly left like a baby's fingerprint and fresh frosting. Now, this trip has made me rethink and reevaluate Joel's music, but I'm not sure that I'll ever go on this trip again, and I don't think that's the point. Uh, in scenes from an Italian restaurant, Joel sings of his divorced heroes, Brenda and Eddie, when they try to go back to the Village Green. You can never go back there again. And he's right, you can't go back. Particularly now that it's called Neighborhood Park. Your real passes, guides, books, x-rays, scanners, took, took, backpacks, school cards, Belgian girlfriends, Chinese bars, banana pancakes, late trains, another cathedral, monsoon rains, border patrols, very scary, let's throw out the itinerary. We didn't end the travel, we were just in blazer, on a trail on blazer. Give him a ride on the razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 